Good morning. The thing that is on my mind this morning is my inner critic and something that I never really thought of. You know, I've done a lot of work on quieting my inner critic and I've thought a lot about how it impacts my feelings about myself. What I hadn't realized until today is that when we listen to our inner critic, it doesn't give the people who care about us the credit that they deserve for being kind and thoughtful people. So I'll tell you what I mean by that. I have some Udemy courses. I don't publicize them. I don't talk about them because they are the very first online courses I ever created. And they're okay, but they're not great. You know, they just kind of sit out there. They, they earn about $150 a month. And so I just let them run. I earn the money. They're, they're good. They're just not great. And I saw that a gentleman purchased with a last name of someone who is in my Rise Sister membership, uh, Julie. And so I panicked. I thought, oh my gosh, is this Julie's husband? He's going to see that online course. He's going to tell Julie, I don't know why you are in this membership. This woman's course is not that great. So I messaged Julie and I said, hey, Julie, is your husband's name, you know, Michael by any chance? And she's like, no. And so I said, okay, I, I saw this, you know, somebody bought a course and I thought maybe it was him. We went back and forth and I explained to her why I was concerned about that. And her response just touched my heart. She said, oh, Carla, I don't ever want to be cause of worry for you. I would never think badly about someone who is really giving it their all and, and building their business with that kind and caring heart. And I thanked her. and. Later in the day, as I was thinking about it this morning, I was like, oh my gosh, by me listening to my inner critic, I wasn't lifting up Julie, right? And knowing that Julie's not gonna think badly of me. You know, we, we are all on this journey together. So when you think about your inner critic, I want you to take a step back and really battle that inner voice because it doesn't just color how you feel about yourself. It, co it colors your thinking about how other people perceive you and how they approach the, the events, the people, the situations in their lives. You know, when we're learning how to rise together, we are so much better when we support each other. From now on, I'm not gonna listen to my inner critic for me and for other people because this is how we rise.